Well, TSM is going to Worlds, and I'm joined by Wild Turtle, who's had a pretty wild split and a couple wild games just now because his name is Wild Turtle. Also been a while since I've talked to you, Wild Turtle. Uh, but but let's talk a little bit about that first game, the Jinx game, where you just went crazy, maybe even wild. Uh, what? How much did that affect, you know, having that success, how much does that affect your confidence in the, in the next couple of games? Uh, I, I think it was pretty good, but uh, like at the start of the game, um, we messed up with the lane swaps and lane allocation early on. So like we fell pretty far behind and we had the Nari against Mal matchup, which is pretty bad for Dyer. So we were kind of on a timer and then TL just kind of, kind of threw. And then I just got like a lot of kills yeah. for free basically. And then going, I guess Stealing Baron was pr pretty big because they, they would have got it for free and potentially won that game. And because it was a first game, that means like the, the momentum probably would have been on their side. Yeah. And if if they won that game, maybe we don't know. Uh, I don't know how that series would have went. Yeah. yeah. Now you, I'm sure you've probably tired of answering questions about this, but do you think that that whole like Keith stuff and like, oh, is Wild Turtle good anymore? All those questions. Do you think that that's done now? It's in the past? Like, you've proven yourself and you can just move on? It was just a momentary blip? Uh, I think I should, st or I still need to, like, improve a lot. Like, I still have, like, areas I need to work on. And then, yeah, I just got to keep improving, I guess. Are you hyped for the CLG TSM finals? Because I feel like a lot of the League of Legends scene is. Uh, I think I'm more nervous than anything. Like, I just want to play well and beat them. But uh, I guess it's pretty hype. <laughs> are you excited about Madison Square Garden and playing there? Or is that just like another? Because pro players, some pro players are like, oh, yeah, it'll be so exciting to play. And, and other players are like, I don't know. I kind of wish it was in the studio. Uh, I don't wish it was in the studio. It's definitely cool to have something different. But apparently Madison Square Garden is a pretty historical, prestigious, yeah. prestigious place. So I don't know about that one. So I'm just going to go along and have fun there. Now... How do you feel about CLG? Because they seem to be on the up and up, but of course they've got this history of choking when it really counts. Uh, are you concerned about them at all, or do you think that it'll be easy? Um, we've played against them before, or going to the TL match. Like We know how they play, and I'm pretty sure they know how we play too. And Our scrims have been going pretty even, so hopefully we'll have a great finals. Do yeah. you think it's going to be like five games? Yeah, I think it will be probably five games. That would be pretty exciting. But I th I assume you probably are pretty confident in TSM. You think you guys will, will win it out in the end. Um, I can't say that for sure because in scrims, like, we go pretty 50-50 with CLG. Like, yeah. like it's just I, – I, I think it will be fun because our scrims are pretty, pretty fun to watch. <laughs> what do you think about TL after that match? Because it seems as though – I kind of feel like they underperformed. Do you feel that way or do you think that this was just always the way it was going to be? Um, I think they did underperform too, and I think we performed a bit better than our usual because in the regular split, we were pretty lost on what we had to do. Like, we had no objective control, and we just didn't know how to play the game correctly. And going into the TL match, I think we had a better grasp of how to control the map and play the map, and I think TL just didn't play the map as well as us because they got, like, an early game and early game leads in most of their games because we messed up some lane allocations and just played the early game really bad and then they just got early leads but they didn't really snowball on us and then we just came back now finally you are going to be going to worlds now let's qualify as tsm for for worlds because even if you get second or first either way what what does that mean for you and you know are you like super hyped about it or is are you just more focused on msg uh i'm definitely very hyped for worlds because that's in that gap between like the worlds we're gonna have a lot to improve on like we're gonna be just actively trying to improve a lot. But I am probably more focused on MSG right now because beating CLG would be nice. Yeah. I'm sure it would kind of solidify you guys as the, the champions for the split, of, of course. Is there anything, Turtle, that you would like to say to any of the TSM fans out there or any of the Wild Turtle fans that have seen you go through the split and then maybe saw that Jinx game <laughs> one? Um, I just love all the TSM fans and my fans. I love you guys all. Well, thank you so much, Turtle, for the interview. Uh, good to sit down and talk to, with you after a little bit of a, a time. But, uh, it, it has been too long. But now we're, now we're back. And I get to see you play next week in New York, so that'll be really exciting. Uh, looking forward to some good matches there. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things League of Legends at GameSpot.com.